Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's trip to Nigeria can be interpreted as a cover, especially after King Charles snubbed Harry during his trip to the UK. Harry has just arrived to the UK for the 10th annual Invictus Games. While it was rumored that he may visit King Charles and make a move in repairing their fractured relationship, it has since come out that they will not be meeting up, citing Harry's busy schedule as the reason. Speaking exclusively with a mirror, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams insists that this will be seen as a snub, but Harry and Meghan have already made a plan to cover for this setback. Prince Harry looks wary on hurried UK trip as King Charles fails to make time to see his son Meghan has wisely decided that a hostile press and public would prefer her to stay away from the service at St. Paul's to commemorate a decade of Invictus. Their visit to Nigeria is a cover for what is a setback, Fitzwilliams told us. While Meghan isn't joining Harry for his UK, she will join him as the two head to Nigeria later this month. During this trip, they are expected to meet with service members and participate in various cultural activities. Fitzwilliams also added that while Harry and Meghan have a game plan for redemption, that doesn't soften the blow of his father's snub. This will be seen as a snub. There is little doubt that this was not arranged as it should have been as King Charles has always made. It clear that his door is open to Harry, he told us. The last time Harry and Charles have seen each other was when Charles was diagnosed with cancer and Harry quickly flew out to see him. Their meeting after the King's diagnosis was extremely brief and we do not know how well it went, Fitzwilliams explained. Despite Charles' condition, Fitzwilliams claims he understands the impact of this decision will be significant. He explained, the King has engagements and duties he needs to perform and has to balance these with treatment for cancer that must be deeply debilitating. The fact that they will not be meeting will, as all things affecting the royal family will, be worldwide news. If the royal rift is ever to be healed, it will be when matters are less public and can be considered privately and less stressfully. As for Harry's brother, Prince William, Fitzwilliams knew the chance of them meeting was even slimmer. There was never a chance of him seeing William, who does not trust him, and with good reason, he shared. While there are plenty of obstacles, Fitzwilliams does believe there is a path to redemption for Harry and Meghan. He stated, if they were to mention the Commonwealth, of which it is a member, in a favorable light in a speech, this would be positive. They trashed the institution, Queen Elizabeth's most important legacy, in their documentary Harry and Meghan. This was not well received as, when they were senior working royals, they were Commonwealth patronages by the late Queen. TikTok Snapchat Instagram Twitter Facebook YouTube Threads